In the studio right now is the CEO for the Leather Stocking Council of the Boy Scouts of America. Uh, in response to yesterday is Ray Eschenbach. Ray, good morning. Thanks for coming in. Morning, Bill. Thanks for having me. So what programs are you doing for girls uh, is the question, I guess. Uh, so we're actually um, providing our same program, uh, which is uh, – We've had people uh, look at our uh, educators. We've had um, experts, subject matter experts, look at our programs and say the programs that we're providing for boys right now um, would be great for girls also. So we're, we're using the same exact program. That does seem to be the way of the world, right? Um, that for for women, oftentimes you hear people say, well, I can do exactly what a boy can do, a, a man can do, um, and to, to treat them that way. Is that a, a mistake? Um, I, I don't feel it's a mistake. I yeah. think what we're doing is is we're, we're listening to our clientele. Yeah. Um, for 23 years, I've worked for the Boy Scouts, and I don't know how many times I've had uh, parents come up to me and said, you know, I wish my daughter could join the program, same program <clears throat> that my son is yeah. getting. Yeah. And, and so uh, people are busier than ever. Um, so they're looking for that one place they can take their um, both their sons and their daughters and, and receive a great uh, leadership character uh, development program like the Boy Scouts. There is a rumor that goes uh, that goes around saying that the reason that the uh, that some parents don't want their daughters to be in, in Girl Scouts is because it's funded by Planned Parenthood and more political groups. Uh, we asked her that. She said, "Have you heard that before?" I, I have not heard yeah, that, and no. uh, she said that is absolutely not true. By the way. So getting back to um, possible reasons for women wanting to join the Boy Scouts, is there a merit badge system or um, you know an Eagle Scout, a Scout equivalent in the Girl Scouts? And is that a reason that maybe some females would like to join the Boy Scouts, to, to have that Eagle Scout status, and will that be allowed? I can't speak on behalf of the Girl Scouts. I do know that they, they do have an advancement program. Um, I think their highest award is the Gold Award, which is the equivalent of our Eagle Scout Award. Um, and, uh, you know, and it, it's a great thing. So, uh, you know, girls that are in Girl Scouts, I, I think that that's wonderful. We're just trying to meet that niche for the, the busy family that's, um, you know, looking for a place to have both their, uh, children, you know, boys and girls, uh, both in our program yeah. or, or maybe, um, you know, Girl Scouts wasn't a fit for a young lady and, and their Boy Scouts might be, um, what they're looking for. Cause our programs are different. They're, they're not, they're not the same. So, you know, so how are I, they, how are they different? I, I don't know how exactly they're different because I haven't done a lot of looking at the at the Girl Scout program, but I do know um, our, our programs. We're really looking to bring families together. We've always, since 1930, when we brought our Cub Scout program together, that's our younger uh, uh, kids that are in uh, grades kindergarten now, mm -hmm. uh, with the adoption of our new Lion program um, through fifth grade. So, uh, and it's meant to, to parents to be with their kids and, and, and the daughters have been there. They've been at the meetings, they've been tagging along, going to camp outs and, but they haven't been able to truly participate or to receive the advancement that their brothers have. So this is a great opportunity for them. I do have somebody asking, um, are the scouts, and I know this was a big issue a few years ago, uh, about scouts allowing uh, gay members, uh, and gay leaders, are the Scouts doing any programming for LGBTQ youth is the question. Do you, do you, I, I realize the rules have changed. Do you, do you do anything to, to help in that regard? The program is the same. So, yeah. you know, so, so regardless, you know, um, uh, you know, if anyone wants to join our program um, uh, from their community, they're, yeah. they're more than yeah. welcome. You know, uh, you know, it, we're inclusive uh, to, to improve. Make sure that they're, they're getting a great program in a safe environment. I think that's the most important yeah. thing. Right. You know, we really are addressing issues of uh, bullying um, and, and protecting our children any way we can. So, okay. yeah, right. yeah. So making sure we, that everyone has a safe environment uh, is very important to us. Uh, tell me um, if uh, how is – first of all, when you get to a certain level, is it explorers that girls were, were welcome before? C correct at that explore so that's the teenage level right right so we have two programs that are co-ed um and they are our venture program which is a high adventure it's 14 to age 20 uh so if you want that outdoor experience where you're climbing repelling canoeing whitewater rafting all those kind of things and then our exploring program is um to connect young people with careers prepare them for their futures so we work with um law enforcement agencies we work with lawyers cpas you know whatever career yeah. uh the skilled trades <clears throat> welders um so they, they get hands-on experience so that when you know high school ends you know where do you go from there we want our our young people to be successful throughout their lives so that gives them the 
opportunity to actually say, I really want to do this yeah. because I got to do this as a young person. So that's, that program is co-ed. I also just want to, to make a mention that our, our new program, you know, I heard yesterday um, um, from the comments that uh, – uh, it's important that we think single gender younger kids they, they do function better in a single gender uh, program. So when we're adding girls to our Cub Scout program this fall, so our, we have a Cub Scout pack. Our dens are, are uh, each grade, so um, our kindergartners are our lions. You know, our first graders we call them tigers. Um, they're going to meet in the same pack, but they're going to have single dens. So you have a male den and a female den. So, okay. so they still get to grow in that environment. They'll be under the same roof, but they'll be you know have different leaders and they'll meet um, and grow uh, separately. And then in 2019, in February 2019, we're going to um, girls will join the Boy Scouts, our ranks and our Boy Scout troops, and um, uh, they will actually be separate troops. They can be chartered by the same uh, charter organization. Uh, but they will uh, they can meet in the same night, uh, but they will be their own separate troops. So there won't be male female coed troops. Correct. They will not be. They will not. And that's be all the way up through. So you have you have two coed programs that will remain the same. They will remain the same. Oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah. And, and the other thing is we, we didn't change our name. We're still the Boy Scouts of America. We changed the name of our program, um, which was called Boy Scouts. We had our Cub Scouts and we had Boy Scouts. Now it's going to be Scouting BSA starting in February of 2019. So that, that's important to know. So, so we, we haven't gone away. We, we're, we're still the Boy Scouts of America. Uh, you sure that's legal in New York? What, what's illegal in New York? Boy Scouts of America. Uh, because i got to tell you, it, aren't they just passing this, uh, you can't say assemblyman. Well, uh, obviously you can say it, but they're wiping assemblyman off the face of the uh, Police anything man, written. Policeman, fireman. Policeman, fireman. And yeah. this is something that's probably going to be signed into law by the by the governor. It seems that we're trying to de- de-gender um, the state now. So there'll be no gender references at all. Right. Yeah, so... Who knows? Yeah, they, at this they point, won't allow you. <laughs> uh, one of the things that uh, that Julie Dale said yesterday is that your numbers are down, and this is why this is happening. And she did also admit that their numbers are down, but she seems to feel that they're they're up over the last yeah, couple of years. Of so, what are your numbers like in, in the scouts? So, we we've had growth in our exploring. So, you talked about the co-ed program and mm-hmm. that's uh, career based. Um, yeah, so, yeah. so we've seen national growth uh, there. Um, we, we are still down also uh, throughout the country in scouting. And, and, and really, our, when we had our baby boomers, I mean, that's when we, everybody hit their, their yeah, peak. And yeah. then the, the population has declined. 50s, 60s, uh, even into the 70s. It, yeah, it, was, really the yeah. it was the heyday of scouting. And, yeah. and, and now, you know, there's so many things compete for people's time. And uh, uh, so we, we have been making, just like she said yesterday, our, our numbers have been increasing, even though we're still experiencing yeah, losses. Yeah. Um, we listened to our folks, so we just added kindergartners in last year as an official program, uh, and that wow. has helped us bring our numbers up. Uh, in 2016, locally here, we, we had a growth of about 1.5%. Uh, then we're down, you know, about the same or a little yeah, bit more yeah. last year. So uh, it's kind of up and down, but we really, right. we're really hoping to, uh, to grow. Uh, I think every kid really should be a part of a, a scouting program, whether it be the Boy Scouts or the Girl Scouts, um, to, to get that leadership. We, we need people, leaders of, with integrity, um, and, le- and, and teach leadership yeah, and yeah. prepare young people for the future. So I do know that a few years ago the controversy was, uh, obviously it was the, the gay issue, which was a, a big controversy, but locally – it was the closing of one of the of was it Camp Russell that uh, that Co- was, correct correct. So what is open today? What has been sold? Could you just wrap that I, up? I can. So we have um, we sold uh, Camp Russell and and Camp Cedarlands is right now on the market, um, which is up in Long Lake. Uh, so we took a good hard look at you know our population is down, so the number of kids you know we're, we were camping you know was yeah. also down. Yeah. So so we had to make a hard decision uh, mm-hmm. and, and let those properties go. We have a Cub Scout camp right now in Ava. Uh, which is Camp Kingsley. It's a fantastic place for our younger uh, scouts mm-hmm. to participate in the summertime. And we have Camp Henderson, which is in Maryland, New York, um, which is a fantastic uh, camp on Crumhorn Lake. And uh, uh, we just put a brand-new dining hall facility in there, so we're really investing. Uh, we're taking resources uh, that we had from the sales of some of these yep, other properties yep. cool. to make our properties better. Okay. Cool. All right, interesting stuff. Anything else you want to add based on yesterday's uh, interview? No, just, just uh, you know, our fall recruitment's coming up. Um, we, we really look forward to providing services that scouting brings to the entire family yeah all right uh listen i appreciate it uh uh, ray ashenbaugh is the ceo of the boy scouts uh, that is the leather stocking council of the boy scouts of america thanks so much thanks for having me appreciate the time